What's up everybody? On today's project, I'm gonna show you how I built this DIY trash can screen slash horizontal privacy screen. So here's a quick look at what the area looked like before we got building. And here is a quick sneak peek of what it looks like today. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, so this is a pretty simple project that really just consists of vertical 4x4x8s and then some horizontal 1x6s. So for this privacy screen, we're going to need three 4x4x8 posts put in the ground vertically. Because these posts are 8 feet tall, we're going to dig down 2 feet so that our post is, uh, is 2 feet into the ground, leaving 6 feet of post above grade for our screen. So I used one of my existing fence posts to basically set the datum for the 6 foot height. So as you can see here, it's a little bit low on the post, but that's okay because what I want to do is I want to put some crushed stone in the actual excavation so that the post isn't sitting directly in contact with the earth and it will also be a little bit advantageous for drainage. So once I put that stone in the ground, I'm double checking the level to make sure it's pretty even. And once I'm happy with the level, it's time to actually mix up your concrete and make it permanent. So here I am just mixing up a standard high strength concrete mix that I got from Home Depot. I added water, taking a look at the manufacturer's recommendations from how much you should add, but to be honest, I pretty much just eyeballed it. Once the consistency looked pretty good, I went ahead and I poured it into the hole, trying to do a good job of making sure that it was evenly distributed around the vertical post. I then grabbed my shovel and I got out any of the remaining concrete and also just kind of poked you know, the concrete and kind of disturbed it to get rid of the air bubbles. Once I had the concrete in, I used a post level to make sure I was in good shape. I double checked the height and then I moved on to the next vertical post. Here what I'm doing is I'm compacting the stone that I already put in the hole. And here I am just double checking the height, making sure it's level with the adjacent post. So once I was happy with how everything was lining up, I went ahead and mixed up some more concrete, doing it the exact same way as before. And once I got the consistency right, I moved over to the next post and started applying the concrete to the hole. Do your best to make sure the concrete's even around the post and then check the level before moving on. So before installing any of the horizontal boards, we took this time to paint the vertical post jet black with a 100% acrylic exterior paint. And you may have also noticed that a patio magically appeared and we actually built that on the last episode. So if you're interested in seeing how we put that patio together, I'll leave a link for that above. But at this point, let's get back to showing you the painted vertical posts. So at this point, it's time to think about installing the horizontal 1x6 pressure treated boards. The first thing we did is we measured the distance between the two posts and then we cut all of our 1x6s before we even got started. So I highly recommend that you start with the bottom horizontal board first. That way gravity is on your side as you work your way up. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. But this requires you to do some planning to make sure that your top board is going to land in an appropriate location. So it's highly worthwhile to do a little bit of math and add up your spacer thickness as well as the width of your horizontal boards just to be sure that your top board lines up in a place that makes sense. So we use two methods to mount the horizontal board to the vertical posts. The first way you're seeing here, which is just pre-sinking screws at an angle. The second way was using a pocket hole jig. But because these screws are going to be hidden inside the privacy screen and no one's ever going to see them, there's really no need to use pocket holes because they're already going to be hidden on the inside. So we cut our first horizontal boards pretty tight so that they would actually hold up within the vertical post as you're seeing there. And then once we were okay with the boards being level by themselves and also level with each other, we went and we did the angle screw method and just attach it directly to the vertical post. But very important here, the way we installed it is we made sure that the face of the horizontal board was flush with the vertical post. And we did this for every board, making sure it was flush going all the way up. It's extremely critical that your first board is perfectly level because all of the boards after that are going to be based on the level of the first one. So take your time on the first board. Hey guys, if you like this type of content, please consider dropping a like down below. It really helps me out with the algorithm and also maybe consider subscribing if you want to help my channel out and you like DIY content like this. Let's get back to the build. 
So for this screen, we use some leftover 5 8 inch fence pickets as spacers. So we would basically just place those on the horizontal post below, put the next horizontal board on top, and then screw it in place. So as you can see there, we have the spacers going across, and we did that for all of them going up. So this is what I meant when I meant gravity's on your side. This way, you can just stack them up, going all the way up, and then secure them to the vertical post pretty easily with the screws. So I would recommend this method. My brother right there is just doing some fine tuning to make sure that it's flush with the front face, and then I'm going and screwing it in there. We went back later on and made sure that all the screws were sufficiently sunk into the wood and made sure they were secured properly. But this really was a pretty redundant process. It went pretty smoothly with our method. And I think starting at the bottom and working your way up is definitely the way to go. So here's a quick recap, just showing where we're at so far. Again, all of the front faces are level. We made sure that they're perfectly flush between the horizontal board and the vertical board there. And then we have the two screws on each horizontal board going directly into the vertical 4x4 post. And my brother right there is making a few more cuts because we were a little bit short on the horizontal posts. And here's a look at the final uh, horizontal board that we're installing on the longer length of the privacy screen. So here's just a quick time lapse showing the process all the way through. We're securing the horizontal board to the vertical and then we're moving the spacers up to the next one. We then cut our horizontal board, put it in place, secured it to the vertical 4x4 and repeated this process all the way up. So we actually built this DIY trash can screen slash horizontal privacy screen last summer before lumber prices went to the moon. So you could do some variations such as fence pickets attached directly to the vertical 4x4 posts to save money. But this is just how we did it. There really are endless possibilities. Your last step is to put some post caps on top of your vertical posts. And now let's take a reminder look at what this area used to look like. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I really would appreciate it if you could drop a like down below and consider subscribing to my channel if you like content like this or if you wanna see how I built this sectional couch or this DIY fire pit table. I got a bunch of new content coming your way. Again, I appreciate y'all and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.